It's Caleb from CDN Security and Electronics here. Today I'm looking at how to set up the Uprox readers using the Uprox Config mobile app. So first thing we want to do is connect the reader to 12 volts. If it's your first time setting up one of this particular reader, you're going to want to short the green and white wire. What this will do is it'll put it in programming mode, that way it doesn't ask you for an installer code. We also want to make sure that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are enabled on the mobile phone we're using. Then we can go in and open up the app. So we want to hit the search button in the middle and select your device from the list that appears below. Once you've got your device selected, you can tap the power socket icon in the middle. In my case, I've already configured this before with the installer code 123456, so I'll enter that. Now you can come into settings. Up the top, we've got the device serial number and the Uprox mobile ID profiles. So if you were uploading a new profile, you could choose the select from storage option there. We can also upgrade the firmware and set the installer code. Under access, we can set the protocols which the reader will use. So we will set it to FSK for HID and Bluetooth. Maybe we want EM as well, that's also possible. I will set it as HID only and Bluetooth. You can also change the output interface. I'll keep that at standard Wigan 26 bit. You can set a facility code here, so that's a hexadecimal facility code. And you can change your indications here, so there's a lot of settings to play with. So I can choose when the card is red, I want to show a red light and make a beep. And when it's in standby, maybe I want no green, inverse red, and always beeping. I can also change the duration of that light and sound. And down here I've got my mobile ID configurations. So access point here, I can choose door, proximity, or gate barrier. So door only works at very close ranges. Door proximity is going to work at a slightly larger range and gate barrier is the furthest range. So you can play around with these settings and find out what kind of distance is working best for you in your particular scenario. Once you've made any changes, for example, I will change the installer code to 4321. You want to hit the back button on your device and hit save the device. So what this does is it pushes the configuration we've just set on the mobile app to the device and then you can go ahead and test it. So you can see when I'm badging them here, it's actually giving me the decimal and hexadecimal values for the cards.